Hey guys, greetings. How you doing? I hope you are doing well. Welcome to Vinet Podcast. Today I want to talk to you about. Um, I received this question. Someone asked me how to invest in Nigerian stock exchange. I've done a video about this. Uh, is on uh, my YouTube channel. So, but I thought to bring this uh, to this episode to this podcast so that someone can listen to it and uh, be able to it might be beneficial to someone okay so i thought to um bring this um episode here so that you can listen and to make informed choice um the step by step what you need to do in order to invest in a general stock exchange even if you live abroad, myself, I reside in United Kingdom. But uh, I'm still able to invest in Nigeria via online platform. So it's a question of you doing your due diligence, doing the necessary research, okay, about the stock brokerage firm and the company you want to invest. Obviously, these days, you know, um, we only got 24 hours in a day so the essence of this really is about one trying to um, find other sources of income other means to earn a living smart way or digitally because um, these days you know one source of income is not enough so you need to trying to find other alternative so I'm going to um, just um, run through and explain to you some of the uh, what I talks or the process one need to go through in order to invest in Nigerian stock exchange. Okay. Guys, greetings. Hi. Um, invest as you know, um, um, promoter of Nigerian stock exchange, but also myself, I'm an investor in Nigerian stock exchange. So. Sure. I want to tell you the process I've, uh, uh, I've been through in order to invest in Nigeria. Obviously, I'm, 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 I live in the United Kingdom, I'm a UK citizen, but also I live in Nigeria. Uh, I mean, I grew up in Nigeria. So I want to um, explain to you and go the process you can do, even if you live abroad, you know, the process you can go through in order to be a, an investor in Nigeria and what you need to do. So it's a, just a practical step. But it's also a question of you doing a, a, a research and following the due process. So uh, in order to invest in Nigeria, you need to open up a brokerage account. You know, uh, for Nigerian stock exchange website, there are a substantial number of um, uh, stock brokers, registered stock bro- brokerage firms. You know, so you just uh, pick one out of them, and that's the main thing. So, but it's not picking up one out of them. There's other things you need to do. So, I've actually uh, write all this point down, you know, what you need to do. So, I want you to uh, follow me um, just uh, as I walk you across the number of things you need to do. Okay, so I wrote, uh, done the research and uh, wrote it down just uh, for you to go to go this with me. Okay, so, so today. We are talking about the main point is right how to invest in the Nigerian stock exchange, right? Okay, and telling you this as investor in Nigerian stock exchange. So I'm into what I'm telling you now. So as they say, experience is the best teacher. I live in UK. But that doesn't mean that I will I doesn't invest in Nigeria. So it, it actually gave me a platform, actually a golden platform to invest over there because I have twenty four access to the internet here. But in Nigeria you might not have that access. So but I'm just giving you the practical step and the things that I've done, you know, the research that I'm making in order to be able to invest in Nigeria stock exchange uh, successfully. You know, it's not easy, you know, uh, but you know, um, it can be done and which I'm, I'm doing it you know so first first of all like i said earlier you need to open 
a brokerage account with approved stock broken firm in Nigeria. So you know all the, the stock brokers belong to register with the you know they got approval from Nigerian Stock Exchange. You know, so you need to open a brokerage account with approved stock broking firm in Nigeria. Okay, that's the number one thing. And for you to do that, you need to provide them with ID identification, provide your bank details with BVN. Okay, bank break BVN in Nigeria is called bank verification number. Okay, then you need to provide your passport, okay, photo. Need to provide a passport photo and your signature, okay. And you need to provide your list of key details, maybe a telephone number for your wife or your sister or your mom and dad. You know, whoever is your list of kin, you need to provide that person details. You know, give that person details and tell them, you know, how that person is related to you, okay. Even if it can be your children as well. So the, the other thing is, uh, some of the stock brokerage for a firm. Is doing some of them, I think majority of them do this these days. Stock brokerage firm may provide online platform. So some of them provide this online platform anyway, because with the online platform, it's easy. Just key in your details. You know, it's easy for you to operate from there. You know, you can just, you know, there is kind of a central line which they link to Nigerian Stock Exchange. You know, so from that platform, you can actually trade online. You know. Uh, on daily basis you can actually place your bid you can actually you know do a transaction from there you know so i i, I just want to walk you through so the stop broken fan i provide you with online platform okay so for you to start trading you need they need to assign you a ch number which is clearing house number every investor in nigerian stock exchange will have a clearing house number so um and you get that when you register with your stockbroker. So then the next one is to trade. You simply need to deposit fund into your stock brokerage form with instruction. So if you want to start trading, you know, or start buying shares in Nigeria Stock Exchange, you need to first of all that's the stock broker broker you choose or brokerage firm firm you choose will provide you with your bank details, right? So they give you their bank details, so you transfer money from your own bank account to their bank account with instruction. The way I normally do it, I give my name, you know, uh, and when I do the transaction online from here, from UK, I put my, you know, I log into my, you know, any of my bank in Nigeria and put my, um, my name as the person, then send them email saying that, you know, hello. Your, your name is so so person that you transferred certain amount to there. You know, you would like this money to be credited in your trading account. So once you send this email, that's your stock exchange, your stock broker would apply to you saying acknowledging that they received the money. You know, sometimes they are acknowledging money that sometimes about ten minutes or you know, sometimes you can actually fund them depending. So they will acknowledge that they received the money and all of a sudden what you know you see is the money will credit in your account, you know, which they have opened to you. So, yeah. So, like I said, you need to deposit money with instruction. So, once you've done that, the next thing to do is you can place a bid. You, you then once you, you can place a bid, you can only place a bid as far as I'm aware. You can only place a bid when you have money in your account, you know. So, you can place a bid to either buy or sell particular shares so if let's say if you want to buy a dangote share you can actually place a bid to order to buy dangote share yeah and you can buy it you know um, by buying it market which means you can you know the your stock broker will buy it at open you know without um, you know it, it, they can buy it at uh, how much he, you know to that market that how much it is that particular day but some people will buy want to place another so okay limit you know they want or the limit they can go you know maybe uh, because shares goes up and the market goes up and down you know so that sometimes in the morning it might be let's say 110 naira in the evening it will be 200 
so you know but if you put it market uh, your stock brokerage can actually broker fine can actually buy 200 for you whereas you say okay this is the limit i can go or this is the limit i can pay for this i say okay i will pay for this you know 150 or 120 naira you know as it is so it depends on how much you want to pay for it but you must do your own research you must do your diligence to know whether you are paying too much on this particular share or you are paying low you know whether this share is very high or very low so these are what you really need to do your own research so so once you place that order to buy you know and you have money in your account then your stock broker firm will stock brokerage firm will actually then make the bidding on your behalf and place the order so so if someone agreed to sell on that particular offer you place you know the transaction will go through okay and that transaction going through you need to pay a transaction fee and charge anytime your bid or offer go through or accepted so they need to charge you you know there's a statutory fees they need to charge which is transaction fee yeah and then and statutory fee and brokerage they will take your own commission anytime they sell a share or buy a share for you they will take your own commission anyway so for tax you know no capital gain tax on buying shares or selling so uh, there's no capital gains tax on buying share in nigeria or selling so yeah the other thing is um you know once um once the you, you sell the share it normally take about three working days for it to be cleared you know either way either you are buying or selling you know whoever is buying if you buy it now they will send you a uh, you know contract note saying that you electronic contract note that you have bought this particular share but you can all it will only go through into your account it will reflect but eventually before it will clear it will be within three to four days for the transaction to be complete yeah and if it's like in if you want to sell shares you sell it and the payment it will be crediting but the money will not go through you know eventually take about three or four days for the money to be in your account then it, when the money is in your account you can actually make a, a withdrawal by you can make a withdrawal by giving instruction by writing a letter or through email to your stockbroker that they want this money to be credited back into your own account so they will do that you know so uh, these are the, actually the process you we need to know you know i mean in nigeria for instance the stock exchange normally trading time is between 9 30 and closes 2 30. so it's just within this period of time even if i'm in uk and sometimes time changes so i just need to be able to work it out you know sometimes we have the same time with nigeria sometimes we have one hour difference so it's a question of you knowing so between 9 30 to 10 o'clock is is just when the market are still you know about to start you know a lot of people are placing their bid within that period there's no market going on but from 10 o'clock the proper market will start and close by 2 30. you know so there's for nigerian stock market who the got um market segment you know which is which market segment is different company that belong to a particular group you know we got we got most capital like premium is most capitalized stock which contain like dangote cement you know uh, UBA, I mean, not Zenith Bank, GT Bank, they are all, all those big companies, Nigerian Brewers. You know, you also got index, you know, so it is, it's a question of every market have their index, which sometimes it's about 90 companies or small companies. So, yeah, where you get all this information and data, you can get all this information is through um, Nigerian Stock Exchange website, you know, for data. Nigeria Stock Exchange is where you actually get most of the majority of information, you know, the companies actually uh, provide all the information, like, you know, if they declare dividend, it will go through Nigeria Stock Exchange first. They are the one that really will release inform this information to the public, you know, so like if the company declare audited uh, account, they will send it electronically through uh, Nigeria Stock Exchange, and Nigeria Stock Exchange will release that information. 
and you know um, every year actually I think within three months company must you know I think if they fail to do that uh, they will be charged by the Nigeria Stock Exchange sometimes actually uh, put a, excuse me sometimes they put a, a stop on the trading they kind of you know stop that company trading on Nigeria Stock Exchange until they do their need to by releasing their um, you know statements of earnings within that particular period so within 90 days as far as I'm aware at every end of the year, like that first December, is a tax, Nigerian tax year run from January to December. And after that first December, it will be a beginning of new tax year. So, but from that as first December to end of March, which is three months, companies in Nigerian stock exchange should have opportunity to release their audited uh, bank account. I mean, yeah, statement of any or bank details, not bank accounts, you know, or detailed financial details, right? So, and when they read the their financial details, some of them do include different payments within that period, within that uh, financial details. So, you know, for, like I said, check out my video on how to receive a dividend. So, dividend is by you receiving the register with the bank details and providing all the necessary information in order for you to receive dividend. So, some company do pay dividend twice in a year, maybe around um, after June, you know, July, August, September, which is another three months, they will declare their dividend. So, within three months, okay, around September, some of them will declare dividend and they say how much they will pay. And some of them will pay yearly, which is twice, you know, in the middle of uh, June you know and December so this is actually the information I thought to share this with you guys you know how you can open how to invest in Nigeria stock exchange how you can open a brokerage account you know how you can operate it from abroad really you know like what somebody who is at home can actually do this but you know um, I just think you just need to be um, a lot and uh, um, using computer you know electronically uh, because most of most time this transaction is done electronically so you just need to be a, a lot on your phone like i live in england like i said earlier i operate this from my home you know so i have all the necessary details i place the order from here you know and the, the transaction will go through you know so and the, uh, another thing i what i do to checkmate you know um if my share is really the same you know what is reflecting on my stock uh, brokerage firm you know i open what is called c what is called c s c s number you know which is clearing house number you know um i register with them which i, I tell them you know i think between two thousand or five thousand for five years so if you have account with them it's like a central house, clearing house where all the shares are deposited. So if you have an account with them, it's more or less like checkmating or anything that is happening with your stock brokerage firm. You know, sometimes um, some company would clear bonus shares and that bonus share will go to a uh, clearing house number, you know, her office. Whereas it's not reflecting on your own share. So it's your duty to write your, to your um stop broker firm or send them email or print of the statement from your clearing house account and forward it to them to tell them that there is a discrepancy or tell them that you know that uh, you know something is not clear why CSAs have different uh, number of shares you know what I say you know um, the stop broker firm having different number of shares so it's kind of from with this company you checkmate what is happening in your own stockbroker account. So it's so good. It, it, I recommend you for you to have open one. You know, if you manage to open up a stockbroker account in Nigeria, you need to have this to be able to checkmate your company, uh, your stock brokerage firm. You know, because with that, you can see actually anytime they buy a share for you, you will reflect here. They will deposit it here. You know, so anytime you they buy a share for you, you will reflect on the account, your account with CSCS. Likewise, if you sell shares, you know, it will reflect here. So this is kind of the central body system that, you know, we use that to monitor 
your yeah, stock brokerage firm account. So I uh, thought to explain to you this, I hope it makes sense to you guys. If there's any more information you need to know about how to open up, uh, um, how to invest in Nigerian stock market, please feel free and leave a, uh, drop a message. I'm happy to um, help you with the information. But myself, uh, um, I invested in, I invest in Nigerian stock exchange and this is the process I went through in order to be an um, investor in Nigerian stock exchange.